Hey, Sean here from speedcubereview.com. I was about to head out the door, but a package from Speedcube Shop came in. Let's take a look. And this is the new Waylong WRM 2020 edition. Moyo has come out with another 2020 edition puzzle, which was the RS3M 2020. And what was different with this is we had the dual adjustment system and the matte plastic. There are little tweaks to the pieces, but not too much. Now I'm a big fan of the WRM. My, my biggest complaint has always been too light of magnets. However, since doing Rue, I've been liking lighter magnets. Okay, we have almost the same thing that we've had in the past where we get a screwdriver, a replacement core, tensioning uh, guides so you can tension everything the same amount. The springs are actually often alternate springs. So all of this is just sort of, I don't know, in case you core breaks, which I haven't seen, extra tensioning system, extra magnets in case they fall out, which I've never seen. But the springs are often a little bit tighter um, on those ones. So that is one thing to hang on to. So first thing to note, this is that matte plastic that we've been seeing on some other puzzles. Now, if you notice, these were the same at one point. I don't know if you can tell a big difference, but if you look at just the way the light reflects off of this, this is the RS3 that had the same matte plastic. I haven't done any polishing to it, but it's gotten much glossier just from use. And you can see with the way the light's reflecting. The colors are the same between them, but it's a lot shinier. So this is surprisingly grippy out of the box, but it, it will get glossier and more grippy anyways with time. Now, as far as turning, it's very dry. I don't think there's any lubrication on here. Here's the original one. So as far as colors, the red is a little bit more muted. The blue's about the same. Yellow's about the same. Green's darker, which I like that. Orange is a little bit more dull, and it might just be the matte plastic that's causing that. Oh, the caps are different. So we've had these ones, which the WRM was basically GTS-3, and so the GTS-3 had this, this cap design that was a little bit more rounded, and you can see those holes. You can't see that here. And it's primary internals, which, well, those had the stocks primary, but not the centers. Same dual tensioning system, though, that we see on here and in the GTS-3. Springs seem a little bit lighter, but it might just be because this one has been set up and lubricated and done a bunch of different things. But yeah, very dry out of the box. I'm going to do no setup just yet, but I want to do some solves. So let's get my stack mat out. I'll just do some random turns. I'm not going to do any specific scramble. Let's clear this out. And I'll do some CFOP and some Roo. That's pretty good. Let's inspect this. And I'll try to keep it in the frame, but I'm not looking at the camera, so I apologize if I do go out of frame. Oh, it's been a while. <laughs> okay, I really feel like I want to, oh, <laughs> we have to turn off the timer. I definitely want to slow this down and set it up a little bit. But the one thing I can say is it feels super light. I need to get my scale out, actually. Okay, so here, I actually I did put extra magnets in here. So here is just a regular WRM without the extra magnets. So we can compare weight. So the old one, 91 grams. New one, 74, that's a lot lighter. That's not just a few small tweaks. That is insanely light. Pieces are relatively the same with a few different tracks. So here, let me, I'll solve this and I'll, then we'll check that out. We'll do another CFOP solve. I'll do Rue after this. Oop, there we go. Yeah, it's very fast. I need to slow this down so much. And plus two. Okay, let's take some pieces out. Man, it's insane how loose some puzzles can be and still be really difficult to take apart. Okay. So there's a bigger torpedo on the new one. 
The old one had this sort of longer one. This is much more flat. And then for corners, the stock here is slightly adjusted because of that. And then instead of just having lines for tracks, it's kind of this circular starburst design, but just a very light cube. So if you want to know what, I guess, the 2020 edition of puzzles are, matte plastic and much lighter turning. So let's do a couple of roux solves. See how this performs. Again, no setup. If I did any setup, I'd probably use some nebula to just get it a little bit softer feeling and slow it down a little bit. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Actually, did I reset the timer? That time looked really similar to my last solve. <laughs> Don't know, but I'll do one more. Again, very fast, very loose and light feeling. So compared to this one, which was the RS3, I would almost consider the RS3 as like a very stable version of the WRM. So if you want something that's stable, the RS3 is good. If you want something that's more flexible, the WRM. Now they have similar magnets. They have similar, the same tensioning system. So, I mean, if you want to save some money, there is this one, but I am definitely going to work to set this one up. Sometimes this one feels almost a bit heavy. I think I need to clean it out and reset it up anyways. Okay. No more talking. Let's get into a solve. Oh, I was not tracking that edge piece. And I'm very lost. There we go. Oh god. There we go. Yeah, it's it's too fast for me right now. This is madness. I need to do some lubrication. What have I got here? There we go. Here's some nebula. I'm just gonna add a few drops throughout it. really interesting. Um, a few years ago, maybe uh, maybe like five years ago, if puzzles were this light, they felt cheap. And heavier puzzles were a little bit nicer. But now people are going for those lighter puzzles. I think what would be nice is a light puzzle that, that had a really, I don't know, a different sound to it, which already with some lubrication, this is getting that sound. So maybe that's all it needed. So it doesn't sound cheap, it just feels light. Okay. Oh, should have done that. wasn't following there. Okay. Enough with the Roo. Just a few drops of Nebula and this is wonderful now. Definitely I'll be using this a lot more. I need to clean out the um, RS3 and just reset it up because it's a bit too, too gummy now. But this is wonderful. Without a doubt, I will be using it a lot. It's got that smaller... Um, shape to it. It's not 56 millimeters, it's 55 and a half. And yeah, it turns great. Um, it doesn't feel so much like a WRM, and I think it's just that lighter feel. I don't know what to compare it to. It almost feels like I'm turning a variation on like a GAN Air because of just how light it feels. Or I don't mean this in a bad way, it feels like I'm turning a little magic. 
like a magnetic little magic with, you know, just a slightly different piece shape so it's not as blocky. It's a good puzzle though. It, it definitely feels very light and, and flexible. So I'll have to experiment with these other springs. So it's available now. Check it out. I'll put a link in the description. You use discount code SCR to save at checkout and it helps support the channel. Hit like, subscribe for more content like this in the future. And as always, stop by speedreview.com for more news and reviews.